Welcome to my community family. I hope you are well. My name is Amy, if you have not met me before. And we have a restorative practice today. So get your cozies on, get your socks, your sweaters, your whatever else on. You can grab some props if you have some and if you would like to use them. I'm going to use a bolster throughout this class. Um, you can use cushions, you can use pillows, you can have a blanket ready for your shavasana. Um, grab everything, take a moment to do so, and we'll be back on that. So we are going to start in a child's pose today. So a couple of options, we can use our props, we can slide something underneath our bottom and in between our heels, just to add a little padding there. We can take a wide-legged option, big toes touching knees nice and wide. We can have the knees nice and close together. And if the knees are wide, then we can take the opportunity to have a cushion or a bolster or anything in between the thighs, that allow your chest and upper body to rest on. So take a few moments just to explore your version here. And when you're ready, begin to soften your belly in between your legs or resting on top of your thighs. Relax your head and neck. Soften those arms. They can be extended out long. They can be drawn a little closer into the body. Just take a few moments to suss out your version. Let's see if we can really allow those hips to press back to the heel, soften through the body. Let's bring in some focus to our breath. So today's practice is slow and restorative. So we're thinking about elongating our inhales, elongating our exhales. So maybe we invite a count here, maybe inhaling for three, exhaling for three, or using four. Or maybe simply we're just acknowledging our breath. So draw your focus here. Draw your focus to the movement, organic movement of your breath. It's organic sound. As we allow our body to soften a little more into our child's breath. Can we relax three to five percent more here? If your head was turned on one cheek or resting on one cheek, just switch sides, turn it the other way to even it out. We have around five more breaths here. Softening the shoulders a little more. Relax all the muscles in the face. This is the last few. Lifting the head slightly, we're going to walk those hands all the way out to the left. Maybe lifting up and over that prop and reaching them out to the left. Soften back through chest, shoulders, head, neck, and pin that right hip back. So breathing into that right rib cage, lengthening that right side body. See if every exhale we can soften a little more. Nice and slowly walking those hands all the way back through center and out and over to the right. Lifting up and over that prop again, reaching those arms out, 
pinning that left hip back, softening back through chair, shoulders, head and neck. And breathing into that right ribcage lengthening, sorry, the left ribcage lengthening that left side foot. Taking a few more breaths. Now, be nice and gently walk your hands back through center. Take a moment to find an active child's pose. So come up on tented fingertips and keep pressing those hips back to the heels. And maybe soften the forehead, pull those fingers forward, take a big breath in, inhale. And a big sigh out through the mouth. Nice and slowly walk your hands in just enough to remove your prop over to one side if we were using one. Wonderful. And plant those hands back forward, draw those knees in if we took that wide legged option and reach those arms forward. We're going to marry up breath and movement as we inhale round through the back, come all the way forward, shoulders reach on top of the wrists. And then we soften our hips, our pelvis, as we bend those elbows and lower the bellies to the floor, elbows reach to the ceiling, low cobra, gaze lifts. Exhale, we press away from the floor, and we round all the way back to our child's pose. Inhale, we round through, rounding forward each vertebrae at a time. Softening hips and pelvis, bending those elbows as much as you want to. So if you'd like to find a a bigger back bend here by all means. Exhale, we press back in. Taking our last repetition here, inhale, rounding all the way through. Softening hips and pelvis, bending those elbows. Let's move back and launch our Wonderful. Take a big breath in here, reach those arms forward. Big breath out. Come up to those tented fingertips again and find a little sway left and right, opening up through those armpits, sides of the waist. Maybe we're inching those fingertips a little further forward. Maybe letting the head sort of bounce between the arms here. We'll go for three, two, and one, soften into center, press into those hands, and then we're going to draw those hips in line with the knees. So we're going to find a puppy pose here. Now, personally, I like to go nice and wide with the hands, so choose an option of the arms you might want to explore a little before settling in. Hips will stay on top of the knees as we lower our chest, our sternum to the mat. Maybe foreheads come to rest or chins come to rest. And then can we take a moment to draw those shoulders away from the ears, creating a little more space there. Take a moment to breathe here, notice how it feels to be in this pose. And then we're going to add a little breath through. As we inhale, press into those hands, round through the back, draw that chin into the chest and gaze between your knees. As we exhale, we're going to sink that chest back down to the mat. As we inhale, let's press into the floor, round through the back, draw that chin in, gaze between those knees, and exhale, we sink that down. So finding your relationship with breath and movement. Inhale, finding that round. Exhale, softening the chest back. We have two more here. Last breath. Beautiful. We're going to come back up to that rounding. Press away from the floor. Gaze between those knees. Draw that chin in. And then continue rounding all the way through as we soften hips and pelvis and we find a seal pose here. So maybe you land in a perfect position. Maybe you need to alter things a little, maybe widen the legs or draw them closer together or draw those arms a little further forward. And take a moment to notice if we're sinking into those shoulders, if we can press away from the floor and draw those shoulders away from the ears. 
Take a few moments here to breathe. Maybe you'd like to gaze over the left shoulder. Come back through center, gaze over the right shoulder. Maybe take it once more each side or find some stillness either way. We'll meet Matt through center. Take a breath in. And exhale, lower breath down. So we can take the hands the same width as the mat, pull them a little closer into the chest. And they can stay on the mat if you'd like to explore having them off the mat, that's very much okay too. And we're gonna find some breath to movement again. We're gonna inhale, press into those hands, ripple that spine up, head is the last to rise. Exhale, we ripple the spine down, bend into the elbows as we lower back through the chest. Inhale, we press up, think that ripple. Think about that ripple in the spine. Missing out words here. Exhale, we lower back down. If you'd like to explore with the position of our hands, by all means, we have two more repetitions here. Again, about taking the last one. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to find a nice shoulder stretch here. Left arm is going to come out to the left, palm slightly higher than the shoulder. Bring those feet together, bend that right leg, press into that right hand, and we're going to roll onto that left shoulder. Plant that right foot behind the crease of the left knee and soften your head and neck. We're going to use this right hand as a lever to explore and experience that opening that left shoulder. So just take a moment to arrive, take a good breath in, a releasing breath out. And find that connection to your breath. I'm going to throw in some options, take them or leave them. Option one is reaching that right arm behind you, let it tuck underneath the waist, maybe. And if you are still searching for more sensation, then you can bend both knees and point both knees to the ceiling. Let's take one more breath in together. Breath out together. If that right hand is around the back, draw it back towards the face. Let it support you as you gently roll back onto your beds. Take a moment, drawing that left hand back into the chest. Elbows point to the ceiling, relax the forehead, and roll those shoulders back a couple of times. Either at the same time or alternating forward and back. We're going to set up our other side. So finding your right side, right hand out to the right, palm slightly higher than the shoulder, bend into that left leg, press into that left hand. And we roll onto that right shoulder, planting that left foot behind the crease of the right knee and relaxing the head and neck. Again, using your left hand now as a lever to explore that right shoulder. And take a few breaths here. If you would like to add in, now is the time to do so. So maybe that left arm comes around the back. And if you're still searching for more, then maybe both knees point to the ceiling. Let's take another big breath in. Big breath out. That left hand will come back towards the face if it's not there already. And use it as support to slowly draw yourself back through center. Take your time. Right hand will draw back into the chest. Elbows point to the ceiling. Relax that forehead again. Work through your shoulders. Ease that out. Wonderful. Okay, so just take a moment to prop up onto your forearms just so that we can find our next pose. So 
grabbing your prop, if you are using one, and draw it to the left side of the mat. So we're going to start on the left side and centralize that prop. Now we're going to draw that left knee up towards the left elbow and rest it on that prop here. So you might need to have a little maneuvering to get it feeling nice here. So maybe it starts with the knee in line with the hip or you'd like to draw it a little further away or a little closer up towards your elbow. And then we're gonna create a pillow with our hands. So one hand on top of the other, elbows go nice and wide and we soften our forehead. Let's take a moment to take a big breath in and a big breath out. Let all of your muscles soften and sink into the ground here. We relax our shoulders with the muscles on our face, our bellies, our hips. Glutes, our legs, all melting into the ground. And here we have an opportunity to feel that inhale expanding against the floor. And our exhale, encouraging the body to sink back to the ground, softening even further. So as we inhale, the belly presses against the floor and we feel this expansion. And as we exhale, everything gets a little closer to the ground and softens a little further. Maybe we stay focused on this really organic action happening with the breath and the body. And the breathing, nourishing the body here. Opening up that left hip. See if we can soften three to five percent more here. More over halfway. And you're welcome to sigh any of these breaths out. Taking our last two breaths here. Slowly think about coming up and out, pressing onto those forearms, finding a little lift in the head. We're going to use this to transition to our twist. So that right arm is going to slide underneath the left arm. We're going to soften onto that prop or onto that left knee and really soften onto that right shoulder. We're going to take those left fingertips and draw them all the way above the head and out and around to the left. Now maybe that knee falls off the prop, so if you want to realign, by all means here. And find your spinal twist. And we can gaze to the left if that feels good, or we can gaze towards the right. We can find some stillness, so if you prefer, then you can keep moving here. You can keep bringing that left arm back forward and then trickling it all the way back. Finding whatever version suits you better here today. Taking two more breaths, exploring your twist. In the last round of breath. Take the last breath here, big breath in. Big sigh out. Beautiful. Slowly draw yourself back from center, press onto that left forearm and find your way back through those forearms. Ease yourself back, 
drawing that left leg back. And we're going to take the other side here. So let's move that prop to the right, centralizing the prop through the mat. So take your time to draw that knee up onto that prop here. And maybe start with aligning it with your hip and then shifting it based on how it feels in your body. And then when you're ready to create that pillow again, we're going to find that restful pose, relaxing our foreheads onto our handmade pillow. And again, we're going to take a big breath in and a big breath out. Letting all of those muscles soften and sink into the floor. Running through your body from the top of your skull down to your toes, allowing everything to soften a little more. Again, honing in that focus on your breath, tapping into that organic action. Those inhales allowing the belly to expand and press against the floor. And those exhales allowing everything to soften and release a little more. Deep nourishing breath as you explore. Now the opening on the right hip. See if you can soften three to five percent more here. We are over halfway. Deep nourishing breath. Notice if you're holding any unnecessary tension, if you can release. We're still tapping into our breath. Last few here, you are welcome to sigh them out. Slowly think about coming up and out, lifting the head, popping onto the forearms. And we'll find that twist. So left arm is now going to thread underneath the right arm, catching onto the prop or your left knee. Soften onto that left shoulder. And we trickle that right arm all the way around as we find our twist. Now we can adjust the props to accommodate our new position. And maybe we want some stillness here. Maybe you want to gaze towards the right or gaze towards the left. Maybe you want to keep that top arm moving. So we'll be trying a mixture of all three and then settling with the one that feels the best for you today. Exploring your Take our last two breaths here. Taking our last round of breath. Now, if you just take a moment, take a last breath in in some stillness. Big sigh out, let it go. Lovely. This time we're going to continue to roll onto our backs. So maybe with that left hand on that right knee, encourage that knee through the center as we land on our spines. Maybe plant that foot. Take a moment just to realign the spine. If we are off our mats, we can reorganize ourselves. And then take the feet wide, knees knock in, hands can be far away from the body, cactusing, or maybe they find their way to your body. Let's just take a few moments. Oh, 
one. When you're ready to draw those knees into the chest, we'll take a little massage on our lumbar spines. So rolling around, mixing up our directions, massaging our lower sacrum. Few more rounds here. Lovely. I'm gonna find a really gentle inversion. So if you have a cushion block or a bolster using that, if you don't have any of those available right now, then you can scoot your bottom up towards a wall and get your bottom as close to that wall as possible. Then let your legs lift up on that wall. So it's always good to, good to go in sideways and then lift your legs up. If you have your prop, you're gonna take a few moments to create your version here. So sliding that prop underneath your lower back. And you might need to maneuver it and shift it around a little. What we're aiming for is for the legs to feel really effortless here. So there's no force keeping them up towards the ceiling. They're just resting. So you might need to shift this around a little to find that placement. And once you have, the arms can be out 180. We can cactus the fingers, the arms, sorry, fingers drawing up to the head. And then we'll take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Find this inversion. We've got around 10 breaths here. So if it feels safe too, we can close the eyes. You can just explore the restorative nature of this pose. Bring that focus back to your breath. Maybe back to that count to three, inhale, count to three, exhale. Or simply acknowledging the inhales and exhales. See if every exhale we can soften the body a little more, soften those shoulders, soften the chest. See if we can slow down our breathing. Around halfway through. Last three breaths here. Last inhale. Last big exhale. Bringing in a little movement for the legs, give them a little shake maybe. If your legs are up against the wall, then maybe draw those knees to one side. Or if you'd like to, you can draw those knees into the chest. If that feels a little too compressive, then be ready to press your feet back to the ground. So either option here, we've got around three breaths just to explore any version of position. Lovely. And when you're ready to make your way to the mats, if you are up on a wall, or shift that bolster back from underneath your bottoms and rest onto your spine. So we're going to find some breath and movement again here. Draw those heels a little closer into the bottom. Hands by the sides, thumbs pointing towards the ceiling. 
We're going to marry up breath and movement. So think about really pressing into the soles of the feet as a piece of string connected to your pelvis and the ceiling. The arms rise, the pelvis rises at the same time. You reach those arms above the head. Weight comes into the shoulders. We squeeze those glutes to the top. Then as we exhale, the top of the spine leads, arms follow. Each vertebrae at a time lowers to the mat. Pelvis is the last to land. We elongate breath. We elongate inhales and exhales. Inhale, let's peel the body up. Arms reach above the head, weight in the shoulders, squeeze those glutes at the top. And exhale, we lower from the top of the spine back down towards the lower sacrum. We have two more like this, linking up breath and movement. Inhale, drawing yourself up. Exhales, lowering back down. Last time here. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. And exhale, we lower. Think about taking any last movements that feel good. So maybe that's windscreen wiping the legs. Maybe you find a gentle, happy baby. Maybe you draw those knees into the chest and massage your spine a little more. So a little time to explore some intuitive movements before we set up for our final resting pose. Now think about your Shavasana being anything that's comfortable. So we can have our legs out long, arms by the sides if that feels good. We can have the soles of our feet touching, knees nice and wide. We can use our props here to aid this also, maybe underneath the knees. We can have the feet nice and wide, knees knocking in, and hands rest on the body or away from the body. We can be on our bellies, we can be on our sides. So find a position that feels good. If you'd like to have a blanket over you or add some more layers, then please, by all means, grab that now. And if your legs are out nice and long and you prefer that position, then it's always quite nice to use your bolster or your cushions or your blocks underneath your knees. And take a few moments to find your shavasana, soften through your shoulder blades and your glutes. And then we will take a big breath in. And as we exhale, allow every muscle to melt into the floor, let everything go. Two more like this. Big breath in, inflate the lungs. Big breath out. Last time, inhaling. Exhale, let everything sink into the ground. This is your time to allow the body to restore and replenish. No longer needing to think about moving or how you're breathing, just letting your body be. Trust that I am still here and I'll pull us out when it's time.
exhale, a big breath in, inhale. Big breath out, exhale. Big breath in, fresh new energy into the body. Exhale anything that no longer serves you. Let it melt into the floor. Last time, big breath in. Release any heaviness, any stagnance. Bring some movement back in. Wiggling fingers and toes. Maybe circling through wrists and ankles, both directions. And if you would like to, drawing the feet together, arms above the head, taking a full body reach. Take a big breath in, create some length. And exhale, find some softness. We're going to roll to our preferred side in a fetal position, resting the head on the bicep of the arm. And just take a moment to honor your practice today. One of the time you've taken to explore and restore. Be proud of your bodies. And when you are ready to press into that right hand and find a comfortable seat. Take your time. If you would like to pop out on your pop and by your knees. If you'd like to bring in any movement here, welcome to do so. Any sways in the spine, any rolls in the shoulders, rolls in the head and the neck. Alternatively, remaining in stillness. And then we'll take some time to even that out with your movement. And find yourself back through the center. We'll take three final breaths together, sweeping those arms up to the top of the thighs. We'll inhale, draw those shoulders up to the ears, squeeze them nice and high. And exhale, we soften the shoulders, sigh the breath. Let them relax. Two more like this. Inhale, let's squeeze them up. Exhale, relax and release. Last time together, inhale, squeeze them up. Maybe hold it a little longer. And exhale, let that go. Take a moment to find your hands at heart center or third eye space. Taking a moment of gratitude, bowing head to hands to honor all that you are and all that there. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed your practice. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you very soon.